It never really mattered. I was always under control. Monkey hear, monkey think. There is no fear in this dojo. I was a superhero, king of 1985. I showed no mercy. Say I was always Cobra Kai. Johnny. I was snapping into character. I was snapping into, like, I even let go of even realizing I was behind the scenes. It was like, I got lost in him for a minute, a couple times, you know, where it was just like the whole notion of, you know, the people cheering and the, the headband and the, you know, the, the cutoff thing, you know, it was really crazy. And then, you know, to look around and there's Marty Cove and there's Rob Garrison and Ron Thomas and Tony, and, you know, and there's Pat Johnson and Barbara. I mean, it just was so authentic. If you've ever experienced deja vu, I'm going through it right this very moment. I've been here before, in a past life, and I'm back. And it's wonderful because it was such a wonderful time in my life when we did it originally. This is a song about getting a crane kick to the face. Ralph Macchio style. I've heard a lot of different songs about the Karate Kid. Some of the other was a little more hard and Cobra Kai and kill and die. And, but uh, Sweep the Leg was, was funny and fun. And once I heard the rest of the song down, I'm like, oh, great. You know, he's a real artist and he's got an imagination. Johnny. Johnny. Pete's music kind of takes you to a different place, Johnny. like a good movie should, you know, like great music does. When I rolled up into the desert, it was like a two-hour drive out to Palmdale. You know, it was like a million hours from, from L.A. It was 45 minutes. What a what? baby. What? Oh, I drove really slow. What though. a two hours <laughs> in the middle of the desert. So, so we pulled out in this desert, you know, this little offshoot, and um, there are already all these trucks set up and all these people running around with clipboards and, and you know, all this stuff, cranes, and, and all these people there because I wrote a song. I remember when, when we first started talking about doing this and the idea that you were going to be involved and of course when it was first you were just going to kind of be in it, you weren't going to direct it or write it necessarily. So once it started growing bigger and bigger and I was just so excited about the possibility of being able to square off with you. And uh, <laughs> I, But the thing is, I, my head went nuts. I envisioned like the whole thing being one giant fight scene. Like I didn't, I didn't want any performance stuff, I didn't want anything. Yeah. And so when we had to start scaling stuff back, I think I initially was really a little bit disappointed that I wasn't going to get to fight more, you know? Yeah, but, you just kept saying, I want to fight more. I want to yeah. fight more, but you're the musician guy. I know. You're supposed to be singing. Right, I'm not an action yeah, hero. Yeah, you, you forgot <laughs> you were you were making a music video. I totally Like, did. you thought you were, like, Daniel. Yeah. So, you know, where's where's my mom and where's Miyagi? And, yep. You know, you snapped into that guy. I really wanted to make a martial arts very, film. Very unhealthy, by the way. Th thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> so tell me if Pete would have made it as a Cobra Kai student of yours. Pete is a wonderful singer. I love his outfit, but he probably would have been torn apart by my boys like a group of coyotes eating a lamb in the middle of the desert. Finding out that Ralph was going to be involved and he was going to put this punctuation mark on the end was just the ultimate thing because it was already real, but that made it completely real. Now this is the ultimate, you know, Karate Kid tribute video. There's nothing we could do short of getting, you know, well, yeah, Elizabeth Shue and having her make out with me at the end. where I 
I got my ass kicked by the skeleton. You know, this is all we shot it all here. And this, this, these were down here. I hate this bike, this stupid bike, and I throw it in the thing, and the mother comes, she pulls in, and we have this whole thing. Oh, I hate, I hate this. Uh, I want to go back to home. I hate it here. I hate it. Uh, you know, this is it. <laughs> this is it. A hundred years <laughs> later. So Johnny wins in the end of this version of the video. So this was the ultimate way to restore the balance back to the universe by having Ralph Baccio ultimately win by hitting him with his car. <laughs> it was like everything came in waves, you know, getting Billy on board was, a, was the first wave of awesomeness and then getting the rest of the Cobra Kai guys on board was a second wave and then finding out that we were gonna be able to rebuild and reconstruct the tournament scene was amazing. When we were getting ready to put it together, you know, I was thinking, okay, I got to get an amazing team for this. You know, I mean, I need an A-list production team, and so I, I called my buddy Bobby, and Bobby and I did uh, Most together, which is a short film we got nominated for an Oscar together. And I'm like, dude, you got to help me with this video; it's going to be massive. So, and from there, like the same way that the cast grew, our crew grew. You know, it was just it was something about the spirit of the song, the spirit of what we were doing, it just brought a great team together. It was a great experience. You know? And it's a rare thing that that happens when, when people are heart really into it, you know? and it shows up. When we did the first one, Karate Kid Number One, there was such a, a wonderful feeling. It was probably the most emotionally rewarding film that I've done in my 34th year now of filmmaking. I never thought that I would feel that same feeling again. And with all of the same people back, it's here again. My favorite thing, I think, was watching when the extras came in, when Pat Johnson came in, all Cobra Kai's came in, the music started, the band was there. It was literally like for a second, it was being back on the set of the Karate Kid. great thing about the creative process is you really you really never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to inspire you or, or when you start working on something that you are inspired by, you never know what kind of turn it's going to take. If I ever, you know, decided to revisit the theme of the Karate Kid in, in 20 years, uh, I might write something completely different. You know, I might write about the fly that gets caught by Ralph Macchio's chopsticks. Who knows? <laughs> That's a wrap. We're all done. <laughs> that's a wrap. No, that's a wrap.